Today I'm gonna do my best to match and demonstrate the eight greatest guitar tones of all time. Now obviously your list might be a little bit different than mine, but I bet we'll share at least one in common. So I invite you to leave a comment down below. What do you think is the most recognizably awesome guitar tone in the entire pantheon of music history? There's certainly a lot to choose from and some of my choices may surprise you. Now as far as how I'm gonna go about achieving these guitar tones, well, the best thing for me to do would be to somehow transform into these guitar players and use their hands because as we know, tone is in the fingers. But it's also in the gear, and yet sometimes gear is unattainable in that it could be too rare, vintage, or just too expensive. Well today I have a tool that is going to help me achieve all of these amazing guitar tones. This is the Spark from Positive Grid. It is an amazing little amp that can work well as a practice amp, as well as a studio tool, and honestly for the $299 price tag, it pays for itself just when you plug it in. I mean, you can use it as an interface as I'll demonstrate, and you can use it for so many other things which I'm going to outline in a future video, but for now, check out the link down below. I highly encourage you to look at the Spark if you are in need of a great little amp that is not only perfect for in-room use, but also for studio recording or just inspiration. These tones are all built into the amp, they're all free. I really can't stress enough how awesome this is, so thank you to Positive Grid for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the eight greatest guitar tones of all time. And we're gonna start with the most recent tone on the list as far as historical context, the burning room tone. So let's open up the old Spark app and connect to the amp. Booyah. All right, so as you can see, all the knobs are bypassed right now on the amp itself. I could turn on the amp if I wanted to, but I don't need that because I am actually monitoring it through my speakers. That right there is worth the price of admission for this thing. So we are going to start with a tone that kind of inspired this video, and these are all built into the app. You can also find tens of thousands of more tones in the tone cloud. Dancing in the room, I think you know what song this tone is emulating. Slow dancing in a burning room. I mean, there's a reason that every guitar player tests a strat in the neck split position with this riff. <laughs> Okay, that one works right out of the box. What if we put on a little drive? What does that do? Oh, okay, we got a booster here. Let's turn up the gain on the amp a little. That is pretty awesome, man. You know, the thing about this song is everyone always tests out if you got the slow dancing tone with the verse, but what about the chorus? greatest guitar tones ever. Check. So what I'm gonna do next is go to the Tone Cloud. This is where tens of thousands of tones have been uploaded by various users of the Spark and some famous rock stars apparently as well. You can see who uploaded what. Uh, let's see, Hendrix obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and just download this. So now it should be, yep, here it is. Immediately I have a guitar tone. <sighs> Whoa. 
That does sound like Hendrix. Definitely the are you experienced iteration of Hendrix's tone where it's like. You can really feel it with that swipe. I always kind of look for, just like with the slow dancing in a burning room, you have like a reference note. For me, if I'm looking for a real authentic purple haze sound, I would say that swipe on the thick E string. Awesome sounding, man, is this like a, so it's just a, a drive. Oh no, no, fuzz. So the drive spot is filled with a fuzz pedal. We've got a noise gate on here. It's this mod, a little bit of chorus. Nice, didn't think, didn't think to add that. And I really, when I think Jimi Hendrix guitar tone, Purple Haze comes to mind right away. And of course you have the Octavia effect for the guitar solo, but really that meaty grind is what I associate most with Hendrix. And you think about that whole album, let's actually turn off the gate by swiping up so we can get a little feedback. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what's the delay doing here? Number two, check. attempted eruption after not playing it for a long time. Uh, this sounds, again, I don't really know what I have to do differently here. It's all pretty much straight on the money. The mod here, another digital chorus. This is interesting. So I would think there would be a phaser. So if I hold on the mod, I can change this. That looks like an MXR phaser to me. <laughs> era 1984 one of the most iconic guitar sounds of all time tone number three check so this metallica tone my favorite is from the master of puppets era That sounds legit. Ha! <laughs> it's like a Mesa triple rec maybe, or something along those lines, but it has a tube driver in front of an already distorted Mesa sounding amp. Works for me. I mean, the cool thing about these tones is you can kind of see what they have here selected that you may want to add into the tone. So obviously this is a 
spot on sound for that Master of Puppets era. I don't think we would need a compressor, it's already really distorted, but check what the delays got going on here because we can easily get some lead sounds with this guitar tone. <laughs> Leper Messiah, anybody? One of the most underrated Metallica sounds ever. Put on that neck pickup, put on some delay. Boom, Master of Puppets tone. Done. Well, this is delightful, and again, just like the Burning Room lick, it's important to play past the intro and play the other parts of the song to really get a feel for the tone, but this is absolutely one of the most iconic clean guitar tones ever. I mean, from the first notes. I mean, how many other guitar riffs can you just name and all you hear is an octave? And actually, the funny thing about that riff, a little insider information in case you didn't know, there's two guitar parts during that intro. I'll leave it up to you to determine what's going on in those two guitar parts. I think maybe my friend Paul Davids figured it out. Maybe go check his channel if you're curious. But yeah, man, like this sounds great. And the thing, like I mentioned about this, we have the kind of Hendrix-y, obviously Frusciante-y uh, little flourishes here. And this would work, you know, for any Strat tone, really. If you're looking for that sweet Strat sound, I could foresee using this in a lot of different situations. Tone number five. Obviously, we know a big fan of AC30s, uh, Vox amps, of course, and he kind of played a guitar sort of shaped like this. Really, anytime he's playing, you can just feel that sweetness, that round, smooth warmth in the sound of his guitar playing. <laughs> That does have a nice richness. I mean, it's crazy how I can just tap something and automatically have a guitar tone that's almost identical. Well, obviously I don't have Brian May's hands, but it just like makes you feel right there and I don't have to spend any money to buy whatever the hell he was playing. I mean, that is really impressive there. I mean, I, I didn't think a Brian May sound would necessarily be able to be accomplished. <laughs> This is awesome. This is awesome. Tone number six. Check. All right, full disclosure, I test these guitar tones out before I just start playing them, just to make sure they're spot on, which they are. This one is really, really spot on. <laughs> I mean that, the little bit of slap back, a tiny bit more gain maybe. Push this up a little. Yeah, I mean. I 
I mean, this sounds really, really awesome, especially in the room. That's another thing that's kind of hard to convey with video is I'm turning these on with the amp, but you're only hearing the recorded into my computer through the amp as the amp is like the basically the interface. But I play these in the room with the amp and they sound just as good. It's not like a post-processing thing. So fun, fun things. Tone number seven. Check. What? All right, I'm pulling the gate off here. Dude, that's my favorite tone yet. <laughs> I mean, listen, again, the burning room test, the first note, the red hot chili peppers, the first note, this, the first note. That's gonna be for the love of God. Especially after that note comes in. <laughs> and, and just, you know, taking out the gate, obviously it's not very practical if you take it out unless you're doing something like this, but I mean, check out the sustain. there you have it my friends I think we can go ahead and check that last tone off the list the eight greatest guitar tones of all time let me know what you think in the comments about not only the tones that I outlined in this video but also a guitar tone I may have missed or that you think should have been included on this list maybe there will be a part two who knows but all I can tell you is that the positive grid spark is an amazing little amp and I appreciate them sending it my way and sponsoring this video make sure you check the link down in the description and order one if you're interested in any of these sounds now if you'll excuse me I'm gonna go play more with that for the love of God tone. That was amazing. Till next time.